message. I want to invite uh, Jeff and is Roy here also? And Roy to come on up. They're just getting back from Zambia, Africa to one of our uh, uh, missions over there. We support Project Samuel um, and praise the Lord. Give them a hand. They're back. Welcome home, guys. Yeah, we support uh, Project Samuel, and uh, it's a youth revitalization project taken in. Uh, we no longer call, call them orphans because they have family now. Amen. They've just expanded uh, from one house with a house mother of eight children to two to 16. They've just got their third house open that this church helped build. Uh, now there's 24. Uh, by late in the fall, we hope the next house that this church helped build is uh, going to house another eight kids. They'll have 32. And praise God, we helped them to expand the farm. And uh, Jeff and Roy went over there and they want to tell you about what God's doing in the chicken house and the broiler house and the farm. Because uh, it's our goal to help this ministry become self-sustaining, where a lot of the operation projects they do there support the children. And uh, praise God, it's so glad to have folks who come. By the way, church, we're looking forward to sending sometime in the near future our first full-time missionaries to different places. So if you want to volunteer, Project Samuel over there is in need of some folks to go spend a couple weeks and see if this is where God's going to put you. But also we're looking for folks who are ready to go spend a year there or maybe a lifetime there. OK, uh, hey, time is short. And uh, when God's leading you, you know, it, it's time to step out. Just let us know. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, just a little point on the, about the missionaries. You know, uh, it amazes me every time I go and I see uh, Brendan there. This guy's 26 or 27 years old, single. You know, the sacrifice he's made to go to Zambia and spend his life there in this project, you know, we need to always remember that and keep him in our prayers. You know, he's growing, he's learning, he's young in the Lord. And uh, not spiritually young, but, you know, this is a lot on his plate, and we need to keep keep that in our minds, that, uh, you know, and keep him in prayer. And, and all our ministries, all our world ministries, you know, we're so blessed in the United States. Uh, we take a lot of things for granted. And, uh, man, when you go to these foreign countries and you see, you know, their their mindset, their tradition, their culture, just, you know, they it's, it's hard on them. And we need to, we need to keep those ministries in our prayers all the time and uh man but we just give god praise for what he's doing at project samuel you know uh, through the corn harvest uh i looked at roy and, and i said you know i always heard about stories my grandpa told of how they used to harvest and you know when you go we had 27 ladies and men harvesting that corn crop by hand and uh to see that you know it's hard to put in our minds the effort that goes into that crop, you know, but it, I said it took us back 60 or 70 years ago, probably how it used to be here in the United States to see that many laborers in one spot doing the manual labor. And, uh, and it's kind of like me and Roy said, you always heard, boy, I wish we'd go back to them good old days. Well, no, nah. I'm gonna, it's a lot better with technology. I can tell you. So, uh, but we just give God praise for what he's doing there through the crop or, uh, Oh, you know, we supplied a corn sheller through this church and a hammer mill that they can shell that corn, grind their feed for the chickens. They've also added the broiler house. And, man, it's amazing to see those folks come out of the village to get fresh chickens. They were selling five to ten every day. And see people come get a dozen, two dozen, three dozen eggs. And, you know, and, and the money that was coming into the ministry through these projects. And, uh, and we just give guys praise and, uh, you know, hey, each and every one of you here that's so, you're a part of it. You know, you're connected to it. And, man, we just, uh, we just believe in God for advancing the kingdom through Project Samuel, through these children and those changed lives. You know, it's going to affect that country, that region. And uh, we got to even go to Pastor Mac Justice, who is a pastor, a church that this church supports monthly, and uh, see what God's doing in that church is we've, we've paid to get electricity, lighting in that church and help add on to his uh, home and his family. So, man, we're, you know, we are really blessed in that area to have the connections we have. And we just, we need to keep them in our prayers and, uh, and remember what they're going through. And, uh, you know, we got it pretty nice over here. And, uh, 
Just, just keep them and remember them. But God's doing a great work through Project Samuel. We, we're thankful to get to go that y'all sent us. And uh, hey, and we're looking for other people to keep going. You know, we got a lot of, a lot of ministries out there, and it's uh, exciting to go see what God's doing in other parts of the country. I say one thing. I guess the. The one thing that I, I probably I always look for something that I take away from from the trips when we go. And I guess the biggest thing that impressed me this time was Susan and Sylvia, the two little twin girls that y'all seen the pictures of them. They were just doing their chores one morning, and they're just they're just singing, "I believe you're my healer. I believe you are all I need." You know, and to know that those kids went from double orphaned, no hope, no future, no anything, to a house, a mother. Uh, a family, I mean, food on their table every night, and now they know, you know, Jesus is all they need. I mean, and that's that's what it's about. We're going for the self-sustaining. We're trying to help them that part, but the only reason that is for is for the orphans, so so they so they don't have to be orphans anymore. And so, yes. Amen. you can set that down there.